Hello guys and welcome back on Fabio Napoli Photography. Today we are going to make a sequel to our previous video about how to create a commercial photography shot and now we are going to elaborate that kind of shot that we took before in a much more intriguing shot for advertising photography. And now it's time for a kappa! I'm joking, I need food coloring and the first match that I can keep uh, between the color of uh, the brandy bottle, uh, of the brandy itself and uh, uh, the color that I need to throw around uh, the bottle is of course coming from this tea. And I'm going now to use a series of equipment, uh, a series of uh, containers and uh, other stuff to pour the liquid on the bottle and I have actually prepared another mug some syringe that I'll use to uh, pick liquid from uh, that mug the first thing I want to do is pick a reference uh, because I need uh, actually I will probably need a reference later on uh, in post production so I I'm going to take the first picture uh, without any mess on the table because now I'm going to create a lot of mess on the table this is why I need the first reference uh, just for backup I'm going to give a try of, uh, on Pluto Trigger with the infrared sensor so let's see what happens if it's good for the shoot or, or, or otherwise I'm going to swap for another type of uh, sensor for Pluto Trigger otherwise I'm just going to uh, pour water and uh, click the button release and when Pluto Trigger is in this mode he's actually having a problem with myself in the camera so there you are, any movement I make is going to be a trigger let's see if you did because I did yeah, first shot was good, alright ok, the first shot was good not enough for me this is why I'm going to swap to another mode uh, or maybe just take it as a um, manual trigger another thing I have did I've turned off the studio lights uh, I mean uh, the lights of uh, the studio for this video uh, because the lights are going to give much different reflection and much less controlled uh, uh, reflection on the subject of uh, in this case the tea that I'm throwing because it's a liquid and uh, has got this issue to capture different types of lights all right now I'm going to give a try with the syringe Too strong, too strong, but I did some good one. And wait, another container just to see what is going on. Yeah, I think it's better with another container. Yeah, very nice this one. And this is why I wrapped the floor, because uh, I knew there was some leaking. Let's save some because I have already finished my tea <laughs> without drinking any. Eh? Yes, a super mess kept from the floor thanks to my wrap. And I'm actually saving some material that is going straight in that mug. 
in this case I can make more pictures and this is a tip for you guys if there is uh, some material that you can save uh, is actually good because you can make much more attempts in this kind of uh, photography. I'm not super happy with all those photos uh, because uh, there was not the result I wanted but of course I'm using uh, the trigger in manual mode so uh, I had to expect to make more than 100 pictures because now I did roughly 80 pictures uh, to have maybe four or five to save so gladly I'm going to make another cup of tea and yeah I'll keep doing it so for now I've finished the shoot I've shot 175 photos to make just a good one I have to make actually a selection out of uh, those 175 photos because it is a huge amount and I don't want to load everything in Photoshop so uh, I'm going to make a selection and maybe pick uh, some like five of them good ones really good ones that are going to be in uh, my final shot uh, which will be the advertising itself for this bottle thanks to EE for sending me this amazing action cam I'm recording right now in 4K. Every single part of uh, this video was shot with a EE cam. And thank you for sending me that. 